Sonic's Green Hills Adventures Season 3 Chapter 19, The Next Day. Meanwhile with the Wachowskis the day after Sonic and the others left to Dr. Denman's lab, at 2 in the afternoon, they heard a knock at the door, Tom answered it quickly to see Louis and his friends at the door. Hi Mr. Wachowski, have you seen Sonic and the others? They were supposed to come to Maka to practice their powers. This morning, Louis asked as Tom let them in. Well I'm afraid Dr. Denman took them, she used Annika to get them to surrender willingly, but Sonic said he plans to get them out of there, eventually. What? That monster? There has to be something we can do. Ricky said as tears fell from her eyes. There's but it'll only make things worse. Tom replied as he sat back down next to Maddie. We'll be the judge of that. So what is it? Cleo asked seriously. Getting the President of the United States involved but just think about it how they look in her eyes. We have to do this right. Tom said seriously as Medi cried into Tom's chest. Oh Tom, I miss them so much and I don't even know how to comfort Annika until the day we see them again. Medi said shakily. Oh, I miss them too but we need to have faith in them. They're very clever and they keep each other safe. How about this? If they're not back in for days, we call the president and see what he can do. Tom said to comfort her. Maddie nodded in agreement as she wiped her tears away. Marina's point of view. It was now day three of being a lab rat. I woke up feeling much better. I was brushing my hair when I heard Shadow appear in my cell. Oh, hey Shadow, what brings you here? I asked seriously. I came to check on your wounds, so you mind. Shadow explained seriously. I nodded and sat down and lifted the back of my shirt. Who you're healing a lot better than I was expecting. Does it hurt at all? Shadow us nervously, only when it's touched. I replied shankly as the memory played in my mind again. If that's the case, then I might be able to heal it with my abilities. Shadow said confidently, really go ahead and give it a try. I said encouragingly as the thought of being healed now ran through my mind. Alright then, chaos heal. Shadow said and then I felt a nice warm sensation on my back and it disappeared. Did it work? I asked pleadingly. Yep, it worked perfectly. Shadow said happily. I turned around and hugged Shadow. Oh, thank you so much, Shadow. I exclaimed as I did this. No problem, Marina. Well, I'll let Sonic know that I was able to do this, okay? Shadow said as we ended the huh. All right, and tell Sonic and Silver I said hey. I added quickly before he could teleport away. He nodded with a smile and teleported out. It was then I realized how lonely I was. Who is, is this what Sonic suffered through for 10 years? I asked no one in particular, I needed to do something about that, so I got to work on making four communicator watches. Thankfully the materials were all around me, I just had to know where to look. It took a while, but I was successful. I just needed to find a way to give the others their communicator watches. However, my mind was drawing a blank. So I dived into the large swimming area to clear my head. I wasn't the same without the others, though. I miss swimming and laughing with them so much, and yet this made me feel more determined to figure out how to get my devices to them. Once I got out of the water, it finally hit me. I just needed Shadow to do it. Hopefully, he'll visit me again very soon. Shadow's point of view. I appeared in Sonic's cell with excitement. So how was she? Sonic asked quietly as he looked at the floor sadly. She's good as new actually, thanks to my medical skills and chaos powers. She also to me to tell you she said hey. I replied reassuringly as I sat next to him and hugged him and Oh thank goodness, thank you Shadow, I'm so lucky to have you as my big brother. Sonic said happily as he hugged me back tightly. Really Sonic, I feel the same way when it comes to you. After all you saved me multiple times both physically and metaphorically. I said lovingly as we ended the hug. I guess that's true, I've noticed Dr. Demon hasn't tried anything with us since my Dark Sonic episode. Do you think that means she's up to something big? Sonic said nervously as he started to hug himself out of fear. I don't know but don't worry it'll be okay. We just have to wait for the right opportunity and then we're home free. I said as reassuringly as I could. This thankfully seemed to have worked as Sonic formed an optimistic smile on his muzzle. Well I better get back to Silver and tell him Marina is alright. I said as I stood up. Okay in shadow, how is Silver holding up anyway? Sonic, ask me in Kinson. He's doing as well as anyone can be in this situation. However, he misses our parents dearly. Honestly, he's not alone on that front. I said as a tear escaped my eye. It's okay, Shadow. I miss them too. Sonic said as he hugged me. Then I teleported back to where Silver was. Dr. Demon's point of view. 
I was reading the journal about Project Shadow when I came up with an idea. So I took out my phone and called Mr. Bennett and Moore. I told them to meet me at the lab for I have something extraordinary to show them. They agreed and were coming tomorrow afternoon. Finally my reputation would be restored.